Welcome to my tutorial on how to use PHP with uh, to execute FFmpeg and uh, convert a video. Um, what I've got, I've, you'll, you'll need to go to my website if you haven't done so already and look at all the downloads, make sure you have everything. You need to make sure you have the latest copy of FFmpeg uh, executable file. There's a link on there where to get that for Windows. Um, you'll also need a copy of the PHP script that I wrote. Uh, in order for this tutorial and you'll also need a video file which I also have on the website I have a sample file there if you don't have one at your disposal so anyways if you're ready to get started I'm also assuming you already have Apache and PHP installed if not you'll need that uh, to get started I'm using XAMPP and I have mine running so we're gonna go ahead and go to the downloads folder uh, and that's where we'll get started at um, we're going to need to go ahead and uh, extract all of these. This is a 7-zip file. You'll need to download 7-zip if you don't already have it installed. That's my FFmpeg. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take this and extract it first. It's the uh, sample video that I had. Alright, the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and use 7-zip and extract this one just choose extract here all right and then last but not least you need to go ahead and uh, extract the uh, PHP script go ahead and use 7-zip again all right now we need to go to our htdocs folder and we're going to go ahead and create a new directory I'm just going to go ahead and call mine PHP FFmpeg and we're going to open that up then we need to go ahead and start copying some files over we're going to start with the uh, FFmpeg master and then we're just going to take and I'm going to press control A to select all of them and then control C to copy move it aside a second and then go right over here and I'm going to paste them all right and so now we should be good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and open my browser up and then I'm going to go to localhost forward slash uh, PHP FF MPEG and it'll load this now the reason why we did this is created a couple more directories that we're going to need and uh, right now we don't have any files or anything like that so we're going to go ahead and go back over to our desktop and you can see the the three directories it created we're going to go ahead and click on uh, source then we're going to take uh, go back here and grab our video file there's mine I'll press control X to cut then control V to paste it so now we have a sample video and we're going to go back over here to uh, create a new directory for our FFmpeg and we'll open that up and then of course we we'll go back to our downloads one more time and then uh, wherever we extracted that uh, latest copy of FFmpeg we're going to want to take and copy all of these files and we're going to take and paste them here alright now we should be ready to go We'll open our browser back up. We want to make sure double check that we do have this preset. So uh, let's go back over there and look one more time. Remember it's libx264 uh, ipod 640. And so we're going to look at our preset folder and make sure and there it is right there. So we're good to go. We're ready to go ahead and run this script and if all goes well it should just take off. We'll uh, go ahead and refresh and it's going to show us our video so I'm going to go ahead and click convert it and now we can see the uh, status it's showing us this elapsed time showing us how how much time has gone by and this is uh, showing us the progress as it processes that video Now as this is getting close to finishing up, I'm going to go ahead and tell you there that you can set these different parameters. Um, 
all I can say is look on the internet and you can find a variation of them but some of them will work that you find some of them won't so it's it's really a shot in the dark but these are the different parameters you can indeed set and now it's finished it reached a hundred percent the timer stopped and it is finished so I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick there what took place and and kind of where we're at um, go back to our base directory and, and what we have we will find a couple of logs here um, there's possibly you could possibly see about two or three different logs an error log if there was some kind of error but the main log that was responsible for the status updates is this one right here and you'll notice it's 81k and we can go ahead and open that up with our text editor and what you'll see you'll see all these little updates there their amount of time that has uh, elapsed and then the bit rate and all all the other nonsense and what it does it's actually polling for this file so whenever it the Ajax request is made the back end script grabs it it opens this file up and then you'll see this you see how these times increase and it just returns that data back to the front end and it updates the uh, progress bar so it's really simple and the whole time when FFmpeg is running, it's sitting there writing all the output, the progress, it's writing it to this file. And so now you kind of see how the handoff happens, and it's, it's actually really easy. Uh, and we can go back and we look at our output directory, and now we see our converted video.